see how close I can get to this alligator without spoking him. Because you wouldn't think that they'd be easily spooked. But uh, they actually can be rather skittery. Now we're uh, here just off uh, outside of the Kennedy Space Center Visitor Center. These are drainage ditches uh, in that area. And uh, he's seen me, which I'm not sure I'm thrilled about because he's coming over to see me. So I'm not going to be here a long time, folks, because uh, I think if we got in a pissing match, he'd win this one. Although he's not real big, I think I could take him. So. I've lost him from focus here. There he is. He's just drifting on over towards me. He's trying to figure out if he can eat me, and I'm trying to figure out if I could eat him. I know I could eat him if I could take him, but he only looks to be about four foot long or so. not really uh, big enough to be threatening to me and uh, although he could probably chew me up pretty bad yeah he I, I don't think he's uh, this is not a life-threatening size animal and he's probably about oh 12 feet from me right now so this is probably some of the best footage we are gonna get of the native Florida alligators and he doesn't want to show too much of himself they're stealth hunters just enough up there so he can see and breathe and he's listening to me in his own way they don't hear quite the way you and I do but If I move, he's going to reposition himself a little bit because he's trying to figure out if I'm a threat or if I'm food. That's it. Bye, Mr. Gator.